Ready? Check. Video. Action, you know. Superstar day again, Chef Willie, you know. Up. Show now to make steam cabbage from scratch. Very easy and simple, guys. Watch this. Now I'm taking more than 15, 20 minutes in the kitchen. Let me show you how Chef really has me. Yeah. Wow. Steam cabbage and dumpling. Why you hear that yet? Look. Cabbage and dumpling. This is all I got right here. I got some carrots. As you can see. Some red peppers, this. Cut a piece of it. I got some green peppers. I got hot peppers right here. Very hot. I got the red onions. Some tomato plums. We cut off the bad side, but. And then I got some garlic. I love my garlic. I got some scallion. Thyme. And I got some codfish or so. All purpose flour. And my avocado. But most importantly, guys, steamed cabbage bowl got from scratch. And the new cabbage video. Healthy cabbage. Four no. So the thing it's real easy and simple guys it's not taking more than 20 to 30 minutes or 15 minutes to cook like a cabbage you see me my thing first thing i do when i get my cabbage I wash it clean the cabbage clean guys make sure you take this all or first layer i always peel out the first layer First bad lay on it, see? Get a good look. It's far right here, dark. Ish. Let's cut that peel out of the first layer, Peggy. Peggy out. That come like a shield. You know? Cocoon. Good part of the thing, and I just keep protecting it until you're ready to eat it. Yeah, you should get all of that off and it's all clean. You know, wash it again. Wash that out, make it good. <clears throat> you see it? Alright, Chef Willie, really now the kitchen. Everything, yeah, no well finger, Lee. When we have a knife for it big, just one little hook on it, man. Watch it, slice. Slice off the back. Root. Alright uh, guys, you can cut it if you want to look neat. Look like a coconut right <laughs> Feels like one I mean because it's so big and heavy. Alright, uh, I'm gonna start my cabbage now guys. Nee. No no man, nothing special. Boom, fast and quick, 15 minutes. Uh, steam some veg. Bust it in the middle. Anyway, you want to cut it easy, you want to watch it. Doop! Bust it off. You see me, guys? Slice him up fine. You cut cabbage. It's a nice thin cut. You cut this. See you, man? Nice in pan. So far, and I just pull it the hard pieces, you break it up to your way. Put them to the side and cut them down a little bit. The hard piece and a little. I'm gonna show you how I deal with that in a second. I eat my greens all the time. You know what I'm saying? Alright, you know I eat. Alright, look. She not eat. Watch out. 
This is how you do it. Cut up your cabbage very easy and simple, guys. Nothing hard in that. It's easy. Nobody asks how you cut it up. Stupid questions, because that's a dunce. You see me? Watch this. Very quick and simple. You can't see, you can't do it. We are using knife, guys. Make some of the clean. Yeah, man. Me and I chef with in the kitchen. I'm a steam cabbage. I go on steam down. Fat boy, I have to do it tonight. And I'll take this done. It don't take long for boy codfish, guys. I turn it off. That boil up. Turn it off. Take long for boy codfish. Watch it now. This. And. Get me a nice teaspoon of butter. Nice chunk of butter. Teaspoon. Chew it tonight. Now, I like guys, my mother must make the best steam cabbage in the world. My mother, and she my pirate, and imitate this. Shout out to you, mommy Judy. Love you, Paulette. You see me, mommy Paulette, otherwise known as Judy. E. Skeptical, sprinkle a little over the top. I see it just a little bit. You know why you think stick. I'm so why not sell some of my mother put night. Just a little black pepper. On top, not even too much. A little black pepper, guys. That's it. Can drop pimento seed night, but black pepper preserved for that. See it there? Not even put salt in it, because guess what? I got a codfish right here. I wash it off and I boil it once. So it still got a little salt in it. You have to know that. If I didn't have that codfish, guys, I would have I would have put a little tip of salt, like I put the black pepper, and let it stay. Well, look, as you can see, you can hear that sound. Yep, that's the sound of the cabbage steaming, preserving its own water. Let's move it in. You don't want it to be too soft. You know, eating crunchy when you're eating your salad, steamed cabbage. So I know you know how to do it. But I got a little pan, my little pan right here with a little water in it. Please. I could throw it in on the top. A little bit. I don't think it was really in it. But I throw that in it. Help spring it because it's a lot of cabbage. Let's bring this water to a little bit. Go ahead, stir it. You can leave it up to do its own water too. You don't really need that little water. Number 10 for codfish. Cause I want my codfish. Some people guys, they just boil their codfish and put it in it. Some people just wash the codfish and put it in it. You know, and steam the fish with the, the, their cabbage or they boil it and then after it's boiled like this they just throw it in the pot drain the water off pick it up you know and then mix it in but chef really my thing is a little bit different because i want my codfish to have a lot of flavors in it so i'm gonna throw my water on my codfish and I'm gonna fry it up and cook it up a little bit with its own potatoes and some vegetables and stuff. And then I'm gonna add it to my cabbage so it get more flavor. That's how I like it. Got my pot. Cut up a little more seasoning. And Chop a little oil in this, you know. It's a little bit saute my thing. It's a little bit to coach at the bottom of the pan so it's not gonna burn up. You tell me the cabbage over steam too, guys, you know what I mean? So once it gets steam, you have to turn it off. You know? Not that long to steam either. Stir him again. Mm -mm -mm. Smell it, guys. 
Yes, cabbage got a flavor. Once cabbage cooked, it can smell cabbage. Cabbage got a flavor for itself. So the big pieces, you can chop it up while you start. Hey. Wait for me. And just leave it, let it cook. I'm gonna chop this up a little bit. Grab me some fresh so. Do you know what I mean? I did the kitchen. Yeah, what guys, it's real. It's about to be four. When it get nice, Chef Willie, don't forget videos dropping back to back. You know what I mean? Always got a new video coming now. New ingredient, new menu. New dish for you guys to cook, you know. Warm at home for dinner, for lunch. Somebody tells you you can't. Like anything you believe you could do, you do it. You do it to your best of your ability. Your full potential. I ain't using a lot of peppers too, look. Just a few peppers, green peppers. I'm using a hot one, because I already got one in my cabbage. I don't want my food to be too spicy. Cut up a little onion. Just to give it a little flavor. Grab a piece of tomato. And then cut up a few tomatoes. Not to use all of it either. All right, let's see what we use. This is it. And here. I love garlic. Put a lot of garlic in my food and give me, I love it. Be old man, grown, mature, you know? Still young and handsome and sexy, see me for the girl there. So the thing set clean. And this corona thing, see what's out there. I'm gonna tell them, say no virus. We don't want no corona virus. We don't know where it came from. I was trying to be coloring, you know. Sometimes it just comes to my head. I need the song right, yo. <laughs> you see Chef Willie dropping songs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. How you still? You know, official. And how you see? Oh, fish. How you see the other boy? Watch out. Love throw some ice, some water, splash some water in it. Splash a little water in it. Woo! My little dog jump. <laughs> and the ice stop me nice, and you know, say, I'll well fry. Well, I can. Must be good. More of my ice, well, I can. A little piece of ice, like a more of my fish of that. The fresh taste. Fishy tape, like that. Alright, I'm gonna check the steamed cabbage. Mm -mm -mm. You can smell it more every time I open the pot, guys. This is gonna like smell better and better. Better and better. Come smell it. Tell me if you smell it. Let me smell it up. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh shit, my eye like. Snap. I like snap. Alright, now drop in the codfish. Chop, chop him up. Chew in the water. Like, Woo! Oh, that was hot. I like frying my codfish first. You know, and then I put the season afterwards. This is a little hot chew, hot chew, restaurant quality. Mm -hmm. Restaurant quality. That's why you can't be too steamy, my little guy. Take stuff on the edge, you put a little oil to the edge. The 
Quality chef in this is chef filling in the kitchen. Eh? Boom, turn it off. Boop, chew it in. Chew it in a eh? codfish, cod, chew in a codfish. In a steam carriage. Stir him a little bit. Let him rest on top. I use another codfish. Codfish last night food. <laughs> but then I should taste my food. I could normally do like to stir it up, mix the codfish and everything in. I'll go like this. I'll taste the water. Make sure it's not too salty or tell me what do I need. Mm. Right now it's a little sweet. The bottom is to see. I'm going to put down a little bit. Let's lie down. Put a little pressure on the fire a little bit. Turn it down a little faster for me. But the cabbage is basically steam now. The more you steam it, the more better it tastes. So you guys how to make flour. Carmine dumpling from scratch. See I got flour here. All we do is just add a little cornmeal. Where is it? Cornmeal somewhere in my cupboard, man. Is it? Watch out. Cornmeal, just throw cornmeal on top. Should fully cover the top. It's called cornmeal dumpling. Put some cornmeal on top. Stir it up. Then you good. You know, and then you add a little salt. You know, once it tastes bland. That's it. Put a little salt and shake it up. And then put it in the water. Turn it on low. This is the tea for me flow one end. To make it one end, guys. Look. Keep stirring it up, don't let it stop in it. Take all the water for a minute. Keep stirring it. See so yeah, it guys, after stirring and lumping up. Put it all in the water. You can see that, but this side make dough. <laughs> Soft and mushy, nothing sticking on your hands or nowhere. Ready to make anything you want, like a clay or a play doh or some mud. Alright, empalada video coming soon. Don't forget, stay tuned. So, I think set. Yeah, make the dump a little more smaller. Lay it down. There, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I need the flour. Make it long, pop a little piece, roll it, all rolled up. Dumplings, you can make it any size, any weight, and you can call it cartwheels or car wheels because it looks like a rolling tire. Make a couple of them that go and boil up with some cabbage and dumpling. 
bananas if you want you can put yam in the water you can boil in the water you can put irish or potatoes sweet yam anything that suits you pumpkin you know and eat it with your cabbage yeah. <laughs> in the kitchen chef really look so the flour looking at pot when it's flour ready stir them and then go and bubble down put some potatoes in it too finish rolling some more and that's what basically do guys so stay tuned to the dish circular boil up and then start boil up you know the flour is ready when it's floating to the top thing flour is then floating on top you know in bottom cut up a couple potatoes drop the knife too Let that boil it, man. I'm showing the food done boil up. Once that boil, my cabbage is finished. It's all finished boiling. Stay tuned, my share my plate and let you guys know. So, cabbage and dumpling, get the people something, you see it? Chef Willie in the kitchen. Up. Yeah. Cabbage well done and set. Dumpling well bubble up. Shop them on that pot. Mmm. 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 Steamed cabbage. With a difference, steamed cabbage and codfish, otherwise known as saltfish. With a difference, and I showed some man looking to see all my things set up in my plate. I know my thing different. Mm -mm -mm. Should I show this? What can I say? All the things set. As you can see, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I got nice new pieces, delicious treats for you. Look at this. This is how you know the dumpling is well cooked. Look between it, it's almost as brown as the outside, buttery. on full you see the two guys very delicious don't forget like and subscribe so free oh